Hi, today I'm going to tell you all about the Gong Fluid High Aspect Wing. It's a fairly new foil from Gong and compare it to beginner wings and see what kind of characteristics they have and what makes them much more exciting. So I started my wing foil career on this Neopride Glide Extra Large wing. It's 2000 square centimeters, which is a great size for a beginner, um, especially of my size. I weigh 88 kilos. Yeah, this um, gets you up fast, quickly on foil. Um, it is fairly slow because of the width. That's like about three centimeters or so. Um, and you're less likely to hurt yourself when you hit your legs um, on the wing underwater. So great all around um, beginner foil. I learned the foil jibe um, on it. Also, it being such a big wing, um, I thought it would be perfect for light winds, you know, going out in really light winds. And actually, at, at some point I got a very big wing and by wing now I mean the sail to go with it for light wings. I winds I got the Gong Superpower 9 square meters and um, with that sail I was able to go out in, in light winds. Um, however, the thickness of this foil and its size gives it a lot of drag underwater. So this um, foil was kind of holding me back. So I, I think I, I'm, I was able to get going in about 10 knots of wind, but I really wanted to, sh to stretch it further down to get to eight knots, maybe seven, you know, when you have this really light summer breeze to still be able to go out and to not sit on the beach. That was my goal. So um, here is where this big boy had some limitations and I felt I needed an upgrade. After about 30 sessions with the extra large front wing, I switched to this large one, 1,500 square centimeters. So um, yeah, smaller, a little bit more dynamic, a little bit faster, um, which, which was fun. I started doing my first jumps with it, but you can't really jump too high because you still have that thickness here, about three centimeters or so, which holds you back speed wise. And you need some speed <laughs> to get some airtime. So I one one thing also that I that I wanted to do and get into is surfing some swells, surfing some waves. Where I typically go out here in the north of Barcelona in Spain, we have a little bit of wind swell. And um, the, the thing is though, that with these slower beginner wings, you um, you are held back on the speed again, and the, the these waves, they, they pass you. So you get like kind of the initial push from the wave and you can put the, the, the sail, the, the wing down in the neutral position behind you for a little moment, you know, to surf the wave, but really quite fast the, the wave passes you and you have to bring the, the sail back up to catch the wind to, to keep going. Another thing that I did with this foil right here is participate in my first wing foil race. It was the first um, official wing foil race here in, in Catalonia, um, in the part of Spain that I live in. And um, I had to use this wing, with, which was my, my only one and it's it's a bit of a slow wing again uh, a beginner foil so i was definitely much slower than most of the other participants i really noticed that um still managed to get a middle of the pack finish um but yeah definitely the gear was holding me back and so i was really looking forward to getting some some new gear to to compete again next year now we're coming to the gong Fluid, high aspect wing, much wider than the low aspect wing I, I had before. It's, this is the XL, the extra large, 112 
centimeters wide and um, the surface area is 1500 square centimeters which is the same as the one I had before but you can see how different the shapes are so that's just high aspect low aspect and um, yeah, why did I choose this size? Again, I'm, I'm about 88 kilos with gear on me, probably above 90. And so this is a good size for me for the light winds. The, the one size down, the large, might be a good option for me in the future to have as a second front wing for stronger winds. And yeah, if you're between 75 to 85 kilos, the, the large could be your main wing. And this one is much thinner than the Neil Pride. I'm going to try to show you both in comparison. It's probably, it's probably one and a half centimeters uh, wide, whereas the, the Neil Pride again is about three. So you can see it here, I think. So this means it's um, far more efficient. It's, it's going to be faster. It's going to allow me to, to jump higher and to ride some swell, to surf some waves, hopefully, and, and to have more, more fun on the water. The, of course, what you have to remember with these is that it's much harder to get up on foil. So you have to pump for longer. It needs more takeoff speed, but, um, but that's fine. You know, um, at some point you just want more advanced gear to get more out of the sport. So really looking forward to trying it out. I'll, I'll try to upload some footage of my first sessions with it. Now, what about you? Which kind of foil did you use to start wing foiling? Um, let me know in the comments below. Have you ever tried a high aspect foil? What gear are you currently on? Do you have any questions about my experience and the gear that I have here, um, please let me know. And don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.